Something else that we're seeing with our patients is when they get home, it's been very frustrating for them to be so fatigued, to be have that fog. There are times that they can, they're trying to speak and they just can't think of that word, or um, it's just difficult to function. And we have seen an increased circumstances with anxiety and depression. That is totally legitimate. And to have that COVID fog or to have that respiratory, we're feeling ourselves vulnerable. And when we, you know, we're not used to feeling ourselves vulnerable. We're used to recovering and bouncing back quickly. It's not always that way with COVID or any other respiratory, you know, situation. Um, CHF, you know, anyone who has chronic heart conditions, you're just seeing how vulnerable you are. And it's very real to have that anxiety that, oh my gosh, I'm not controlling this. It's, it's very humbling not to be able to control something or to just snap out of it and get back to what you're used to doing. So if you have that anxiety and that depression, you need to have someone to reach out to. And by having a home health nurse, what you say to that home health nurse stays between that home health nurse. If she feels you need this addressed or that we need to move forward and, and be more proactive about it, you've, got, you've opened up that avenue to where we can be more proactive at addressing, and especially depression. We've, we've had to oscillate ourselves so much in the last couple of years. So it's very real. We need to make sure that you're in a good place and that you stay in that good place so you can take care of you, your loved ones. And so help us you know, take care of the whole physical, mental, spiritual well-being of you.